I used to eat two large chocolates a day. One New Year's Eve, I decided enough. No more sugar and I are over. And the next day, I ate another. Giving up is easy. I did it at least a hundred times. The reason it's tough to start exercising, quit smoking or change your diet is not because you're a lazy slob. It's because habitual behaviors like these have become neurologically wired into the brain. Each time you repeat a behavior, you slowly grow neurons and connections between neurons. Like a muscle, that particular part of the brain gets thicker and denser. Just like building or losing muscle, building or losing a habit takes time. So how do we build new habit muscle? Through a three-step habit loop that I call CHP or CHIP. Take a fat food addiction. First, there's the cue, the view of your favorite fat food outlet, or the smell of frying burgers. Second, there's the habit, buying and eating the McGunk. And thirdly, there's the pleasure, that addictive hit of salt and fat on your tongue, which sends you back to the cue in an ongoing loop. The cue triggers the habit, the habit produces the pleasure, the pleasure keeps us going back to the cue. It's an unmerry go round now, initially, eating fast food may just be a once-off behavior, but not for long. Researchers at the universities of North Texas and Yale have found that families usually don't intend to eat fast food regularly, but as the craving kicks in, that once-a-month behavior fast turns into three times a week habits. So how do you break a bad habit? Cut off the cues. Don't drive past your favorite fat food. And kill the pleasure. When you think of fast food, Call it fat food and think of globules of fat, clogged arteries and having to take two trips to get through a revolving door. Counteract the pleasure with an image of pain. It's also important to substitute the old behavior with a new one. Initially a healthy snack may not give you the same pleasure, but it beats trying to starve yourself through temptation. Offer your pleasure-loving brain an alternative. How do you build a good habit? Well, a study of 6,000 people who lost more than 30 pounds found that 78% of them created clear cues to trigger exercise, such as running every day, first thing in the morning. They also had a clear vision of the pleasure that they would get if they stuck to their diet, say, fitting into a small dress or the pride of getting to the ideal weight. How long does it take to build a habit? Well, the father of psychology, William James, said 21 days. Research at University College London shows that it depends on the person and the habit. For some it took 18 days, for others it took over 200. You can speed up the duration by understanding this. Every time you perform a behavior, you strengthen the habit in your brain. Every time you stop, you weaken it. I stopped my two-a-day chocolate habit the day I took control of my cues by removing the chocolates from my house. I took up a new after-dinner habit by substituting the chocolate with fruit, and within a few days, I was rewarded with the pleasure of improved energy levels. Why not give yourself a 30-day challenge? Commit to just one new healthy behavior every day for 30 days. And if you miss one or two days, don't be like the alcoholic who slips up, has a drink, and says, Oh well, I may as well just have the whole bottle. A slip up is okay as long as it doesn't become a slip down. Just pick it up the following day. Now, experiments on yourself. Click subscribe to get the Human Experiment Weekly.